So now that we've looked at how we might test our, our code in our spreadsheet, let's go ahead and investigate how we can write some of those tests. So we have a spreadsheet here and we've already written a function, you know, it already does some things and we want to actually write a test out for this. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a regular old function. We'll say test count products and uh, we're gonna we're gonna not do anything with this just yet. We can say, all right, we're gonna switch to test count products and we're gonna run that. And it's not gonna do anything interesting yet. So we might wanna put something at the end that says, well, let's say that our tests are complete. Test complete, all right. So now if we run this and we look at our log, you know, if we just open that up, you can see test complete. Okay, so we've run our test. So let's create some test data. We'll create a very basic test array here and we're gonna, it's gonna be two dimensional. So we will go ahead and make that one array there and then we'll create a really basic example shirt and we'll throw in XL and we'll say one. So if we test this, we should see, you know, we should see that there's one of the things if we explicitly try to match this one thing. So if count products uh, test array, we'll say shirt zero XL, then we should, it should be one. So if it's not equal to one, we've got a problem. Let's go ahead and just tell the user logger.log test failed. And we'll give it a number. Let's say test one so that we can know which, which set of parameters actually gave us the problem. So now if I run this, and I look at my log, I can see, all right, my tests are okay. This is doing what I want, so that part of the function works. Let's try to test it a little bit more because we also want to make sure that it's matching things that are not, uh, you know, that are, are kind of wild cards. So we can say if count products test array shirt null null because what we want this to really do is match things that are, you know, not specified. So that should also be one here. We'll add some more data to it, but let's say logger.log test two failed. And if we run this, then we will take a look at our results here and we'll say test complete. Okay. All right. So that, that seems okay. So let's go ahead and make our data a little bit more complicated. Let's uh, we'll copy and paste this first one and uh, let's go ahead and put a comma there and maybe we'll create and we'll create a shirt that is maybe a different color and maybe it's a different size. So now we'll give it a different quantity. Let's say two here. So now when we run this with the wildcard, if we want to count all of the shirts and we see here if, if it's not included or it's null, we're going to count everything. So this should give us uh, one plus two, which is three. So now if we run this, it should still work. Let's see if we've written our code properly, test complete, none of our tests failed. So uh, we could even count that. We could say var, var failed tests is equal to zero. And then every time we do one of these, we could say failed tests plus plus. And we could say failed tests plus plus. And then we could say test complete. Uh, and then we could add that in test failed, failed tests. So now if we run this again, we should get this nice message telling us that we've failed zero tests. Oh wait, we've, we've got a problem, test failed. Oh, we called that a different thing. Let's go ahead and fix that. We'll go ahead and fix that and we'll run this and then we'll bring up our log and it's gonna tell, okay, our tests are complete. We failed zero tests, that's great, great news. So uh, we can keep getting more and more complicated here. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll create some more data. So we'll hit copy and we'll paste this. We'll create six rows of data and we'll make, uh, we'll have throw two hats into the mix and we'll throw a few jackets into the mix. Uh, there's a jacket and then there's another jacket. And we'll go ahead and say, you know, maybe this one's gonna be color one. We could say this one's gonna be color zero. We could say this one, eh, two is okay here. And where our hats don't have a size. So we'll go ahead and match what we had on the spreadsheet and A and A and we'll say, all right, our jackets are small and medium. And instead of one, we'll say four, and we'll just double these, eight, 16, 32. All right, so now we need to change our test because we've changed our test data, this is gonna be different. This one should still only match one, and this one should still actually only match, it should match the three, three. So let's go ahead and create another one. If count products, we'll say test array, and we'll pass in hat, and we'll say zero, null and L. So if we count these manually, how many hats have color zero and we don't care about the, uh, the size? Well, it should be, well, there's only one here. So let's say that's eight. So we'll say not equal to eight. Then we'll say failed test plus plus. 
logger.log test three failed. And let's create one more test. So, well, let's run this one first. We'll run this and we'll run that and we'll say, all right, how's that look? All right, we're still passing all of our tests. So everything's working right. So let's try this, count products, test array. And we'll say, you know what, we'll just say, let's count everything. And that should be, let's count it up. It should be 63, I think. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. That should add up to 63. So let's go ahead and say failed test plus plus logger.log. And we can say test 4 failed. And if we've written everything right, then we should see that this is going to pass. And let's go ahead and take a look at our log. And we'll say, oh, oh, wait, test 4 failed. All right, so let's let's start to investigate that. Let's think about what could happen here. So if we go back down to our custom function, you know, if we were running this from our spreadsheet, if we just put this in, you know, if we said, uh, you know, count products, and we pass in the entire range of products that we have, and we say, we'll just say we're going to count everything. Well, that that's gonna that's not going to quite give us what we want. So that that doesn't seem right either. And there's no way to really validate that that actually worked right or try to spit something out here. So. This, this doesn't seem right. Let's go ahead and try to log something here. We'll add in some instrumentation, something to just say this is what the situation is. So we'll say when called with, we'll pass in the type, 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 color, color, and size, size, result is we'll say we'll log total all right so now if we run this this test again we can at least see what's happening in that function so let's look at our when we called the first thing we got one and then we got three and then we got eight and then we got zero well that that doesn't seem quite right so the test four is still failing that that doesn't seem quite right so let's let's try to take a look at our code here so we can see all right well what isn't it counting it looks like it's not counting anything so let's see, let's see. We'll, we'll see if it's actually iterating through each one of these steps. So we'll say logger.log. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and say product range i. We'll, we'll see what kind of, what type of, of thing we're, you know. So we'll log and say the product type is, and then we'll just log that. So now we'll run it again. We've got a new message. We can investigate a little bit further. So it was, oh, there's, there's a lot of undefined. Okay, so let's think about that. Well, we're passing it in this this product type is undefined so let's uh th that sounds like something's not quite right let's let's look at our log again and we'll say all right product type is so it looks like it's not actually counting it's not looking at the right product type so uh oh we we didn't have we, we're not seeing anything in this type okay that that's interesting so if we look at our code we're supposed to be counting everything when color is null uh, we're supposed to be counting everything when the type is null. Oh, I see. We're not checking for that here. So let's go ahead and change that back. We'll say type null or okay. So now when we run this again, let's see what we get. Okay, we're still okay. We're getting exactly what we expect. So the, the the fact that this was null, we weren't actually checking to see if it was null and counting everything. So that that gave us a bit of a problem. So that that's not that's not super great. But hopefully you can see how we can use that to, to run this test. And now let's say we need to change this. Let's say we add start we start adding things like a material and we need to change this later. Well, now we only have to change a little bit of our code to make sure that this is really, really, really well tested. So just using this little bit of code, we're able to see that, you know, we're, we're passing a lot of these tests. And now we can reuse this over and over again. It makes it very easy for us to manage our code. So we could do a similar kind of thing, you know, we could actually, you know, instead of using this test array, we could, uh, you know, we could say test array. Well, let, let's let's go back to our spreadsheet. We created this, this test tab. So we can actually retrieve that data. Instead of trying to write all this into a, uh, into this, this array, we can use spreadsheet app. We'll get the active spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet we're currently using, and then we will get the sheet by name and it's called tests. Make sure that this matches this. And then we will get a range. So here we're gonna get the range. 
starting from two in column one, we'll get six columns or six rows, four columns, and then we're going to get the values. It's important to get the values because otherwise this is just going to be a range object and it's not going to work quite the same way. But we should see if we run this, we're going to get a similar result here. And you know, here we we've got all this. Now we'll notice if we if we now that this works, you know, we should be able to come back to our product data and we should be able to just say count products and this should work now. It should say if we just count all of our products and since those that last few things are optional you know we said that you know if those aren't included we're just going to count so that should give us the right result and you'll notice if we come back and look at our log it's not actually logging anything from that call we just made and that's because you know that's only going to happen when we run the functions here which is another good reason to to run the you know, to build these test functions and run them right here in our, our uh, script editor and we can see what happens if we just want to count all of the shirts uh, we just pass in shirt and now we can see there are 197 shirts and we want to count hats you know we can do all of this very easy so this custom function now we, we, we would say is probably pretty well tested probably gonna do what we need and uh, we've got kind of a good starting point now for for how to how to build these things and test them a little bit in the future thanks for watching